For more episodes of the Games Raw podcast, check out our website, www.gamesrawpodcast.com. You can also follow us at twitter.com forward slash games for all, or check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash games for all podcast. The Games Raw podcast is brought to you in association with HostGator. For all your web host needs, check out hostgator.com. Hello and welcome to the Games Raw podcast, episode 76. I'm your host, Dan Young, and as always, I'm my good friends, James Craigie and Michelle Barry. Hey, how's it going? Good. Yeah, good. Fine. Yeah, no, you've been ill this week, James. Yeah, you? I know. Oh dear. But you played a lot of Arkham City, so I guess it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the show. Uh, Every cloud. Yeah, exactly. Take yeah. your opportunity if you can. Yeah. Um, so we are going to be talking a little bit, first of all, about the Halloween special that's coming up very, 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 very soon. In fact, Monday. So uh, by the time this goes up, a couple of days' time, it's about three days away. It's cool. It's good. I'm really this, this goes it. up on the Friday, it comes up on the Monday, so really you just got like the weekend to get yeah, through. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we promoted the hell out of it. We just put up the uh, little kind of uh, behind-the-scenes featurette that went up uh, on Facebook and our um, website, gamesforpodcast.com. So yeah, no, it's it's the Halloween special is very much on its way. Um, I can tell people... She should, should, should be with us by Halloween. She'll be with us by Halloween. So uh, Also, a quick mention, we're um, kind of beefing things up on YouTube uh lately so we've we've got our um we've got our act together started uploading some videos so you'll be able to watch the halloween special on youtube and uh a bunch of other stuff as well i don't know we'll, we're gonna post loads of stuff yeah. hopefully um you're got, in charge of that aren't got, you, a little, sure? got a little promo yeah. <laughs> that we put together to kind of promote the show and that kind of stuff and you can you can watch that f- uh, facebook as well which is facebook.com forward slash games for podcast our YouTube channel, our official one is youtube.com yeah. forward slash games for podcast, I do believe. Yeah. yeah. Something else to remember. Yeah, I know, I'll probably forget it. Anyway. But no, we're really looking forward to the Halloween special coming out and um, just kind of hearing people's like, reactions to it because I'm, I'm excited. Oh, well, everybody know. knows what my reaction to it was. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so, also to mention, uh, we recorded a little audio commentary as well. That's going to. You'll be able to listen to that on YouTube and uh, on our website, gamesworldpodcast.com. So once you've watched it, you can watch it again, but with us talking over the top of it and taking a piss out of James even more. It's a lot less like watching DVD special features. Yeah, pretty much. That's kind of what we were going for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah, we can't wait for people to see it, so we're really proud of it. And uh, yeah, it's is it is it going to happen again? No. <laughs> <laughs> We have broke him. Oh, that's not cool. Oh, well. Go on, ask me one more time. Is it going to happen? No. Oh, All right, fair enough. <laughs> All right, so let's start the show. What have we been playing? Shall I start? Yeah. Battlefield 3. It's a big one. It's uh, got my copy a day or two early, actually. I was quite surprised. And, um, yeah. I, I, I could... Okay, here's the thing. We've got a game night like, planned. We yeah. should be recording it tonight, but we're not. Because we can't be asked. Well, it's that and it's late now. So yeah. we kind of fell behind on time. But we will be recording that hopefully Monday and putting it up like Tuesday, mm. Wednesday next week. A little bit late. Later than planned, but never mind. Um, but Battlefield 3. So, what, 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 What's it like? It's um, Well, first of all, I'm playing it on 360. Yeah. Um, Have you installed the... I've installed the extra textures, the 1.5 gig of extra goodness, apparently. Did you I've, try it out I've without? I've tried it without. It doesn't fucking interrupt me. I'll Sorry. talk about this. All right. <laughs> um, I've tried it without and with. To be honest, it's a very minimal difference. Uh, it's one of those things like, you know, in a game like, say, Dead Island, when you walk up to foliage really close and you kind of see, oh, yeah, that looks really blurry and shit. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of fixes that. It's like this... The extra textures only really matter when you're close up to stuff. And oh, okay. It doesn't make a massive difference, but it does look. A, it looks a lot nicer. Okay. Um, so there's that. I've installed that. I've installed the uh, first title update for it, which is like a 167 megabyte download for a day one patch. Wow. Which is a bit mental. Um, the game overall, uh, first of all, um, the obvious things are it's amazingly good looking. Like the engine's great, yeah. It, everything looks amazing. Um, obviously, it looks a hell of a lot better on PC, which is primarily, I'm guessing, hardcore Battlefield fans. You know, it's format of choice, platform of choice. Um, but 
great looking, amazing sounding game as well. Yeah. That's one thing Dice are really good at. And, you know, I've got to hark back to kind of Medal of Honor, last year's Medal of Honor, which was kind of um, a kind of collaboration with Dice. It, you know, the game looked all right. Yeah. You know, it was running on the old Frostbite engine, but it sounded amazing. And that's one of the few things that was really, really good about the game. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a great looking, great sounding game. Other than that, honestly, story wise, what I mean, I've played through a fair bit of it, but story wise, uh, I feel like it's we've been there, done that kind of thing. Oh, okay. It's sort of told in flashbacks, and in between, you've got this kind of interrogation room scenario. Oh, it's stuff that's been yeah. done before. In fact, it reminds me a lot of um, uh, what's it called, Black Last Gen game, yeah, uh, PS2, Xbox, Criterion Games. So that was that the one that was segregated? <laughs> Time stop, <laughs> James. Um, but it was it was yeah, it was Criterion Games, uh, first person shooter. It was, it just reminds me a bit like that, and you know, there's certain things that I'm not. I'm, you know, I do like a bit of story in these games. I, you know, I do, at the end of the day, people play first person shooters to, you know, get their visceral kicks or whatever. You know, but a story doesn't hurt. You know, no. a decent story doesn't hurt. And no, from what I've heard, a lot of people have said that this is kind of geared more towards the multiplayer. Yeah, pretty much. Side. I get that because the story isn't that great. It, it does this thing of, you know, like you 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 play through this. The action set pieces aren't bad, but they're they're not what I'd call Call of Duty standard. Yeah, and it is. A, uh, I'm going to get flack for comparing them, but you've got to do it right. Yeah. Well, they're kind of the, the major components. Yeah, exactly. So. And the thing is, I know for a fact that when I play Modern Warfare 3 when it comes out, I'm going to get the summer blockbuster action-packed set pieces. It's going to be the, you know, Hollywood version of a war. Yeah. And it kind of feels like Battlefield is trying to be a slightly more realistic version of, of war, which isn't really what people play games for. Uh, that's and we kind had of that way. problem with Medal, Medal of Honor. Honor. Yeah, it's not as bad as that, but still. Um, I feel like it does this thing of you, you're with characters barely five minutes and then they kill them off, and it's like, how is this meant? How am I meant to mo- emotionally engage myself with this? I don't even know this character. I've not, you've not given me any backstory or anything. I've not. I've been on, you know, he's been on screen for barely five minutes, you've killed him off, and yet it's supposed to be really dramatic and, you know, emotional and all this kind of stuff, and it just doesn't work. So, um, but, you know, other than that, it's not bad, it's fun to play. Glitchy as hell, though. Yeah. A lot of bugs in it still, even with Ooh. the patch. And a lot of death from kind of random places where you shouldn't be being dealt death from, let's be honest. Um,. There's like the, I dislike death from random places. Yeah, it, it's because like you, you know even, even I like uh, death from very specific places. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> what I'm talking about. No, but the thing is, right, you be playing it, and it's like my biggest beef with it is that you know I, I can play. You can play it on the hardest difficulty, and yes, it's fucking hard. And even if you, wha- you know, I've wiped the difficulty right down to easy at one point, and still managed to get my ass handed to me because the game is kind of broken. Yeah. People, like, fucking... Like, enemies can shoot you from behind doors that are closed that you can't shoot back through. And they can just fucking hit you and kill you. And you you don't always know where stuff is. And it just really... You know... I don't know. It's There's definitely some bugs in the game. And that, that annoys me a little bit, but... So, probably still a work in progress, then. It's a shame, because it's, you know, it's been built up to be this big thing, and now it's kind of out, and it's sort of barely living up to the hype for me to be honest and you know that there's so shame. many bugs in the game it's just it's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's unplayable but it just like all of a sudden you'll be in cover or something and you think yeah no I'm, I'm fine and then all of a sudden you die you die and it's just like where am I being shot from who's actually shooting me what's going on and like I don't know there's just yeah quite random deaths sometimes that don't make a lot of sense but anyway um that's pretty much what I've got to say on the moment. I mean, I've you know we've got game night coming out. We're going to talk a bit more about it then. But yeah. overall, it's still it's still worth picking up. I think you know even if you're just buying your time until Call of Duty comes out, which I hate to say, but that's what, kind of what I'm doing now. I think. Um, no, it's a shame because we had such high hopes for. Yeah, this apparently, as well. I mean, apparently also the campaign's really short. It's about five hours, which is sort of standard now for shooters. Unfortunately, yeah. I kind of prefer that sort of eight eight to ten hour kind of campaign that that usually works better for me but yeah it is basically 
geared for more multiplayer stuff so unfortunate but that's probably what I'd say 60-70% of people picking it up will play yeah. first so they're not really bothered about campaign unfortunately so yeah it definitely lacks as far as the campaign goes which I haven't played any multiplayer yet other than the beta so I haven't really got around to it but um, yeah overall it is worth picking up but don't expect a amazingly deep story or you know a, a game that's completely smooth and doesn't have any bugs <laughs> okay yeah. so anyway what has, what has everybody else been playing Michelle um, yeah I've got uh, a, a, an app should I say for my iPhone or it can be for your iPod touch uh, it's called Trail Maze yeah it's pretty much as it sounds maze game cool All really right. um, it is good it, you're not against um, anything you get, You know you're against yourself alright um, you try my and be... own worst enemy <laughs> <laughs> it, it's good because you, you know you, you, you're more into uh, beating your own time it's just basically beating your best scores oh, okay, cool. and you don't have to complete a maze to get on the next one you can flip through and choose what ones you you want to do cool um, that sounds alright so is it well, how does it play it's a uh, tilt oh, oh so okay it's it's an one, yeah. Yeah, interesting and um, yeah so it's 69p um, nice. it's, it's alright it's good I mean my it, favourite price in print pens. but I mean you know I, I think print. it is it is one of those games that if you know I've been playing it and it is kind of addictive. Yeah. Yeah. You. I've. I've got to. Yeah. That's cool. Well, that's what you want from it. Yeah. Really. And um. But other than that, I've now and then I've been playing on a uh, Tap Tap Revenge three, cool. mainly online. Oh right, yeah. Against other players. It's been a while since I played that <laughs> game. So awesome. yeah, um, uh, I can play with other players on the uh, nearby near where we live. Awesome. So it, it is good. Yeah, okay. It's a favourite game. It's mm. cool. I can't remember how much that is, but if you haven't got it, get it. It's good. How do you compare to these other people? Where do you rank? Um, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> Being coy about it. Yeah. yeah. Best way. Well, everybody, guess what I've been playing? Um, does it rhyme with Batman? No. <laughs> it is Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's always oh I don't know why I've just got in you know oh, that um, video of the dog that can save Batman <laughs> Batman I don't know why it just Batman! popped into my head yeah we, yeah. Might, we might insert that in <laughs> just for the hell of it actually I, I've i been I, like you said earlier I've been ill this week yeah. which sucks because I've been not earning money and not been able to work and but kind of you've Batman. been playing Batman. Yeah, so there is a flip side to it. <laughs> um, Swings and roundabouts. <laughs> yeah. Um, playing it on easy to begin with. I know you don't really gain much from playing it on easy, but you know, I just want to like get through it and see what it was like so I could talk more about it. And completed the main story. <laughs> okay, really? Really, I have completed the main story. Holy shit. But not all of the side missions. No, really. A few of the side Didn't missions. Think you There's would've. still quite a lot to do. So wait, how, many, how long did it take you to... I mean, obviously on easy, but how long did it take you to complete all the main stuff? Um, In, like, hours, roughly, ballpark figure? About eight to ten. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, that's kind of... I think that's what you said before. Yeah, roughly yeah, gonna be, yeah, it's yeah. not too, too, bad. Um, no, not too bad. Yeah, 100% through the story. Got quite a lot of the collectibles. I mean, mm-hmm. in the first game, there was something like 240 collectibles oh, and dear. stuff. Yeah. Which was basically like scanning areas like riddles and stuff and picking up trophies. Yeah. In this one, the trophies are quite a lot harder to get. I mean, in the first one, you basically you had to have the right bit of equipment and then you could like open up grates and find stuff and it was there. Yeah. yeah. With all of these, it's like proper puzzles. It's like you need to like throw so many batarangs at so many things and time things in certain Ooh, ways. Okay. And, set up explosives and use magnets to kind of like move balls around mazes and stuff and that it's quite a lot weird. harder but there's like 400 riddles Jesus Christ <laughs> and collectibles and stuff and yeah it's quite hard to do <laughs> so yeah there's a, there's a lot of stuff in there <laughs> fucking hell well, but, you can't complain that there's not you know, no. stuff to do but all I can say about the main story is oh my god it's so good yeah. so well written the ending actually brought a tear to my eye. Jesus Christ. For the reasons that I is went to You know what? It is. But 
what this game does and what the first game did very well but this one does so much better is you do feel like Batman so without going into too much detail you do get to a point in the game where you're entering the Penguin's Lair mm. who he basically owns like a nightclub yeah. which used to be a themed restaurant and a museum Okay, and all like the old closed off museum he's turned into like his private den where he does all his illicit activities but mm. there's like the Terrors of the Deep Room yeah. which is flooded uh, okay. And in in this flooded room lives Tiny, who is <laughs> yeah I can get. I was actually about to ask this question about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the giant great white shark. Yeah, it was terrifying. But like I said, in this game you feel like Batman, and as Batman, I wasn't scared of the shark. It made me jump a little bit, <laughs> but but oh, not man. as bad. I could actually face it, and I wasn't yeah. terrified. I felt like I could stand up to the shark, but. Basically, part of it is iced over. There's this whole subplot involving Mr. Freeze, which I won't go into because it's all nerdy. And you're like walking on the ice, and you have to walk fairly slowly so you don't crack the ice because if you crack and fall through, Tiny eats you. Okay, you don't want that. But there's this bit where it kind of like narrows and you get like a thin walkway, and just as you get there, the shark jumps up for the first time. This is when you introduce Tiny, leaps up, it's a proper Jaws moment. And yeah, okay, I might have jumped, it. <laughs> jumped and farted. <laughs> Simultaneously, <laughs> it's like ah. Okay. It's nice. After that, I was fine. Image. Yeah, and then you're going through this thing, like the constant threat of the sharks down here somewhere. If I go in the water, it's going to eat me. Yeah, but then it doesn't happen, and you feel sort of safe. And then you kind of get onto the rafts and have to pull yourself along, and it's kind of like oh, it's going to come, it's going to come. It, it never comes until right at the end, right until you've done everything in that room, and you're finally going through, and then. It oh, okay. comes and attacks her off, and then you just punch it, and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, oh, I but I will that. say, a shark in the yeah. See, oh no, best. no, that's not the best bit. The best bit is the bit I wasn't expecting is when you first enter the museum, you get like the prehistoric exhibit with all mm. the dinosaurs. You come out to this like walkway; it's like a balcony. It has two stairs going down into like this lobby thing. But all you can see is you go through. You see the balcony ahead of you, and like the stairs down the side. So you're walking forward. This fucking T-Rex jumps up, <laughs> right over, screams at you, and I was like, fuck, what the fuck? And it's an animatronic thing, and it kind of like breaks down and starts, but still, that, 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 I, I, I farted louder at that than I did the shark. That's awesome. But, uh, no. Um, what else can I say about this game? Yeah, it adds so much to what Arkham Asylum did. I mean, the boss fights, I think, are better. Yeah. I mean, they're different, obviously, because there aren't many villains that can go toe-to-toe with Batman. Yeah. I mean, you go toe-to-toe with the Joker at one point, mm. and you completely pound on him. Can I say that? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And then he calls everybody else in, that's kind of like... I think if you said you pounded his ass, that probably would have been pounded pretty, it. Pretty, pretty bad. No, you, you thump him a bit. Yeah. But, no, they're... they're but, the way they handle the bosses is there are some pretty good things. I mean, Mr. Freeze, made famous for general consumer by Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> you were going to go there. But, um, no, in the comics, he's actually a pretty terrifying villain in his own yeah. right. That was actually pretty cool, because he's in this big armoured suit. You can't really hurt him. Yeah. And he's kind of like chasing you around. If he sees you, he shoots you, and you die. Okay. So you have to kind of like hide around this room, and you you have certain methods of taking him out, like hiding on ledges and sort of jumping out under grates and all that. And he's frozen some of them up, so you can't use them. So you have to try and think of other ways to bring him down. Each time you do one, he kind of compensates for it. So, say you're in the grates in the floor, you jump up, hit him, and then pound him in a bit. <laughs> you go. Yeah. He will then pound his ass. <laughs> yeah. He'll he'll freeze up the grate so you can't do that again. So you then have to find another way oh, of okay. slowing him down. Yeah, yeah. And all this time he's like chasing you around. And you're kind of like thinking, shit, what can I do? What can I do? And yeah, there's all sorts. Keeps you guessing. This yeah, is not yeah. Repetitive and no, a lot yeah. of it. What I like, I think more than anything about the way they've done this games is in the movies, all that it kind of focuses more on Batman the brawler. Mm. And you said you liked the combat. Yeah, the combat was great. Yeah, it is. It's really good. And, you know, he's like a trained martial artist who can do that. But it really ties into the fact that he's supposed to be the world's greatest detective. Mm. And this game makes you think 
Yeah, yeah. And it ha- has the whole kind of like CSI aspects to it, and it has like various ways of doing things. And I just love the fact that you can walk into a room full of 30, 40 odd guys and know that you can beat the shit out of them, but you put one or two guns in there. Mm. And all the changes tactics change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Awesome. The best part is when you get like this one gadget where you can actually um, jam people's guns without them realising it. Mm. And so you can like take them out to begin with and then j- leap in front of them and they try and shoot at you and That's kind of let the guns yeah. jam up. So, yeah. Sweet. No, there's just so much that I cannot... Yeah, I was pretty impressed. I mean, I mean, anyone who's watched the game that episode we put up last week of uh, Batman Arkham City will know that I was way more impressed with this game than... Uh, Arkham Asylum. Yeah, oh, it gets really good. The story is actually kind of really gets you involved. You get like the sense of it's paced really well so that there are side missions, obviously, and you can do those, but I was kind of like wrapped up in the main story mm. and wanted to get through it. And no, I, I, I cannot say enough. I will be playing through it a couple more times at least. Excellent. At least you know when the T Rex comes out. Yep, yep. Sweet. And <laughs> Tiny only has one eye as well. It's kind of like got this scarred eye, which gives it this whole kind of. Do you feel eat... a bit sorry for it? A little bit. He seems to eat well because <laughs> Pengu- penguin feeds him lots of people. Oh, okay. But it is. he seems fine. He, he he's obviously flourished because he's grown pretty big. But he has that whole kind of scarred face, jaws two type mm, thing okay. going for it. Yeah. And I don't like it. <laughs> but as Batman, I can cope with it. Sweet. Well, that's a pretty epic what we've been playing. That's that's a longer one than usual, but hey. Yeah. Um, we're going to take a quick break in a minute, but first we're going to be uh, having a little promo from our good friends over at the Underground Geek Network. You can check them out at undergroundgeeknetwork.com. And for anyone who hasn't checked their show out, they basically cover on a bi weekly basis the latest news from the worlds of video games and uh, anime and comics sci-fi yeah tv movies occasionally some tech news and stuff yeah but the yeah they've been talking a lot about batman recently yeah so check out this very very batman themed promo and we'll be back soon with the news Hey guys, it's Van at the Underground Geek Network. On this week's episode, we talk about Batman in video games with Batman Arkham City. We talk about Batman in movies with Batman Year One. We talk about Batman in comic books, and then we talk about some kind of anime. Check us out this week on undergroundgeeknetwork.com. Same bat time, same bat website. Hello and welcome back to the Games Rule Podcast. Uh, it's over to James now for the news. Yes, there's been quite a lot of news. Good. Um, first off, biggest news of the week, I think. Grand Theft Auto V has been officially announced. Yeah, I think with the 10-year anniversary of GTA 3, probably a good time to yep, mention yep. it. Yeah. But there have been rumblings and rumours and stuff about it, but no, it, it's there. Yeah. There is little more than kind of like a poster and a date on it. It's just a yeah. It's just the logo. Yep. And yeah, a date for the um, trailer. Second of November. Yeah, so not long. Next week. But yeah, but there are lots of rumblings that <clears throat> this one is set in kind of like a whereas sort of Liberty City was New York. This is kind of set more in Los Angeles, yeah. so possibly back to San Andreas. Cool. So we'll see that, and you might have a choice of main character instead of just having the one main character. Awesome. I'm yeah I'm 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 looking forward to seeing what the well what can be done here cuz um you know I I really did enjoy GTA 4 it was quite good um you know very few complaints about that game uh it killed a lot of hours <laughs> and um no I'm not for it I'm, you know more GTA is all good you know and we've got Saints Row 3 coming out this year and you know that's a franchise I wish I'd played more of I played a fair bit of the first one not as much of the second the third one looks awesome and it's kind of it fills kind of fills the gaps between GTAs because yeah. they don't bring them out that often so yeah. Um, but yeah I mean this is is this is there a sort of rough release date for this or not is it only for the trailer yeah okay because I'm thinking like next year we've got Max Payne 3 yeah and Rockstar genuinely only really bring out a game a year so um, lazy fuckers it's, well, there's a possibility of 2013 on this one yeah because it is going to take a while to make if they I mean I'm sure they've already got quite a lot done but you know a game of that magnitude is gonna i reckon is gonna take a lot of time so yeah. i'm hoping it looks as good as red dead 
Yeah, I'm sure it probably will. I mean, I'm 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 pretty much willing to bet now most of the Rockstar games that come out now um, are going to use the kind of um, L.A. Noir facial animation stuff. That's yeah. pretty much what they're going. I'm pretty sure Max Payne Three is going to have it. Yeah, and yeah, and if that's the case, obviously all their games are going to be like three discs or something stupid. But yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's going to be cool. I mean, I can you know you can really get into the GTA. With all those big like cutscenes and all that story, you know, yeah, that, that'd be because awesome. no, I, I love GTA Four, but I think the one thing that let it down for me was the visuals weren't quite as they weren't great. But if you can look no. past it, it's a great game. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, so really fun. Tip, good. Tip, I'm, I'm tip for Rockstar, make it look a bit more like Red Dead Redemption. Well, did you ever see uh, off, a little bit off topic? But did you ever see the um, somebody created like a photorealistic kind of patch for the PC version of that? Really? Did you ever see that? No. Holy shit! It looks it literally looks real. Excellent. Oh, shit, you not. You need to look the Google that shit. Um, well, my PC won't run it. No, but if you had, like, oh, Jesus Christ, my PC <laughs> barely runs Minesweeper. <laughs> but, but like somebody, you know, it's cap- the engine's capable of uh, accommodating all those extra textures and stuff. But obviously, for for consoles, it's you know, a bit of an issue. But it would be good to see what they can do with it if they can make it look a lot nicer than before. Then I'm definitely in. I'm, I'm up for more GTA. So, yeah. Okay. Happy about that. Yeah, me too. I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Interesting to see what the trailer is going to be like as well, because then obviously yeah. a lot more will be revealed then. So, but yeah. it's next week, so it's not long. No, no, that's that's quite good. I mean, we're used to getting these announcements for our announcements, but they normally come later. Yeah, later. Yeah. But you forget about them, and then oh yeah, there's that trailer. Yeah. So yeah. so yeah, all will be revealed, mm. or a little bit will be revealed. And maybe we'll talk about it next week if it's worth talking about. Yeah. Well, if you don't hear anything about it, you know it's not that great. <laughs> don't bother checking it out. It was, yeah. it was bullshit. <laughs> um, moving back to Batman. Oh, we I was talking go. about it before the break. Mm-hmm. Um, critics love it. Did they? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's done really well. Um, people are buying it. That's also good. Been a few complaints in the first week about the DLC not working. Yeah. Like the Robin and the Catwoman DLC not working, uh, but that seems to sort of been ironed out now. I had no problems with it. Cool. But it hasn't stopped it from shipping 4.6 million units in its first week. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That is pretty good. Yeah. So, I can't really argue with those figures. I mean, obviously it's a multi-platform yeah. release, um, so yeah. Yeah, that's but really that, that's more than double what Arkham Asylum did. Sweet. In its first week, so that is good. yeah, it's doing good. So it's looking good for a third one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I reckon. Yeah, and you know, I have to say it's probably one of the most enjoyable games I've played this year. Awesome. To be quite honest, it is really, really good. I mean, it's you get a lot of games that have a lot of hype, like Battlefield Three, for yeah. instance. So this actually lives up Excellent. to the hype. So I've got a feeling that it's gonna make a decent appearance for the nominations for this year's Game for Rules. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. hope it wins a BAFTA again. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the only one that bothers me. Because <laughs> it's the only one that it won <laughs> the first one. Right. But yeah, as long as it wins another BAFTA, it's fine. Um, Minecraft. Mm-hmm. Hugely successful on PC. Yep. I know people who are thoroughly addicted to it. Mm. You can make anything do anything. It is coming to consoles, it was announced. Yep. But the... Um, Developers Mojang, they've announced that it will be Xbox 360 exclusive. Really? Yeah. Whoa. So, just on Xbox. Hmm. Uh, be coming out spring 2012. Looking forward to it. Cool. Yeah, no, that'd be oh, good. I, I love stuff like that. I love kind of <clears throat> building. It and... be, yeah, it will be interesting to see what it does on console. Yeah. Um, big, major phenomenon on PC and that, so... Yeah, I mean, I know, I've, I've, it's cool. That it's exclusive as well. That's crazy. I would, I would have thought honestly that they there'd be somebody to port that to PC, but they're PS3 even. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, damn. It's been on PC. No, for no, 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 yeah, slip of the tongue. Um, yeah, no. It's no, good. I will not slip you the tongue. <laughs> uh, you twat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, no, that's good news. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is good news. I'm looking forward to it. I'll definitely be trying it out, and we'll probably be talking about it on the I'm show. I'm sure we will. Um, another thing we'll be talking about on the show, Mass Effect 3. Never heard of it. Yeah, you, you, you know I'm looking forward to it, just a little tiny bit. There's a hint of excitement every time it's mentioned, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I fought for a completely different reason. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> on, carry on. Obviously, it's coming out in March, but they've um, said there's going to be a demo in January. Yeah. Which cool. will have both single player and multiplayer modes in it. Give you a chance to try that out and see what yeah. you think about it. Yeah. But this is kind of. Bioware have said, oh yeah, we're not controlled by EA. They might own us, but we have a fair amount of creative control. <laughs> and they might have creative control, but yeah. they don't have control over marketing yeah. and all that. Um, as an added bonus, owners of Battlefield 3 who register their online pass with the EA accounts yeah. will automatically get early access to the multiplayer portion. Because that's what Battlefield play through free players are crying out for some mobile fucking Mass Effect. Yeah, yeah. but... They have been quite. Don't get me wrong. There's probably a bit of a crossover there as far as demographic goes, but really, not a huge amount. But I think what it is is because Dice and Bioware have worked together quite closely, Mm. working on the sound. It's like you say, you you love Battle Three and you love the sound design and all that. They've kind of like completely overhauled all like the. gun noises all kind of like the way it sounds oh hell yeah I mean if those are behind the freaking audio on this game fucking Mass Effect really yeah. sound amazing yeah Seriously. yeah. and plus you got Clint Mansell doing the score so awesome. it's going to sound good on all fronts sweet um, but yeah so if you've got that and you've registered your online pass then you'll get early access to the multiplayer beer which sounds cool kind of <laughs> makes me wish I'd gone out and bought it now <laughs> about four, three, but no you're right yeah I'll be fine. I'll be, I'll, when, uh, when Modern Warfare 3 comes out, I'll probably have ditched my copy of Battlefield 3. You can borrow it. Okay, cool. <laughs> that sounds really bad. You know, it's just the thing with the hype about it, that's all. Yeah. It's just too much hype. Anyway, specific release dates for that demo will be um, announced in November. Cool. Last bit of news, probably the most interesting, is there's been lots of rumours recently about the next Xbox about yep. being unveiled uh, next year's E3 and all that. Mm-hmm. A lot of industry sources, mostly chip manufacturers, middleware yeah. producers, have said that it's probably not going to be unveiled at next year's mm. E3, but will be unveiled in 2013. Oh, yeah, E3. and also be available for a holiday season. Season, yeah. 2013 launch. So... Sweet. So, a couple of years. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it's not too yeah. bad. So, I'm going to start saving now. You better. <laughs> yeah. But that shit's going to cost you loads of money. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. But, I'm, no. I'm, I'm interested to see. I mean, you know, honestly, nowadays in this day and age of the, with the fucking games that we're seeing coming out now, it's got to be a massive graphical and gameplay leap for yeah. it to be worth the upgrade to different... Yeah, console hardware absolutely so. and yeah. to be quite honest I feel like they've only just now kind of tapped like the full potential of the current gen mm-hmm. console so I'd like at least a year or two yeah we're going to get that couple of, of years that. and a yeah. little bit of crossover but yeah I think ultimately we need to see um, something real special um, on just you know I'd like a really awesome tech demo on yeah. this bad boy just to kind of get me excited for it and I'm sure yeah. we'll get that 2013 E3 but you know yeah I'll, I want that um, Samaritan game or the Epic Games thing yeah yeah that would look pretty yeah. cool yeah, oh, that would be awesome that. they better be working on that <laughs> yeah they better they probably are um, I bet I can get you excited for a new Xbox okay right, here, here, here it is big e- E3 presentation now unveiling the new Xbox here's the new Xbox oh it's shiny it's really awesome looking oh <laughs> here's, here, no, here's one of the launch titles for it Mirror's Edge 2 and it looks amazing yeah that would go there you go there you go to be quite honest it's probably looking like if there is a Mirror's Edge 2 it will be be on the new new one see I think I'm the only I was saying I'm the only one that's excited for Mirror's Edge 2 is that everyone's talking about the downsides of the first one well the critics are always more vocal than the people who enjoy it because the people who enjoy it just kind of like play it honest and... opinion is they can shove it with some bench I? Yeah. I like the game well yeah, the D- same thing. DICE are really fond of that game they, I mean not to talk about it again because we did talk about it the other week but yeah. DICE are really fond of that game and they really do they really want to do a sequel and I mean, the fan feedback has been amazing apparently yeah. so, so I mean it's cult you know, following Battlefield yeah. 3 is going to do well so more it'll do well it's not a good game <laughs> no it's, it's, it's good but it's not you know, it's, it's, it's not it, what, it's what the hype makes it out to be. Overhyped. It is overhyped. It's a bit of a shame. It is a little bit of a disappointment on some areas. But... Unlike Batman, which was hyped just enough. Alright, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. 
I bet if there was a Mirror's Edge tea and it just looked like real, yeah, I'll, real I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll be getting it on day one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's what's going to ship consoles. Awesome. You can buy the next Xbox. Then. Is it? Is it? Done? <laughs> that's it. That's okay. the news. Okay, so that's the news. Um, that is the news. Done and dusted for another week. So we're going to take another quick break. Well deserved, I think you'll agree. Um, we've done so much in this last section. Um, so so when we come back, we're going to be talking about the UK sales chart and this week's releases. Hello and welcome back to the Games Raw podcast. In a minute we're going to be talking about this week's releases, but first here's Michelle with a chart. Hi. 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 Hello. All right, here Get we go. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. At number 10, it's Gears of War 3. Oh, a bit of a shame, that. Yeah. Yeah, it sold well, though. Can't really mind. At number 9, do I have to say it? Uh, the game that shall not be named. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Fucking arseholes. Hey, have any luck, because there's, there's some titles coming out this week. If any luck, they'll be... Out of the top ten, so fingers crossed. Yeah. At number eight, it's Rage. Mm. At number seven, it's Pro Evolution Soccer 2012. Yep. At number six, it's The Sims 3 Pets. Ooh, really? <laughs> At number five, it's Just Dance 3. Mm-hmm. At number four, it's Forza Motorsport 4. Cool. At number three, it's Football Manager 2012. It's probably the other big football franchise. Jesus, yeah. I mm. guess I kind of underestimated that one. Yeah. Jesus. As a big sort of PC following. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. At number two, it's Fever 12. And at number one, it's your favourite game at the moment, James. Isn't Batman it? Arkham City. That's good. Which is there any doubt, really? Yeah, no, that's true. Well, it's selling how many units in the first week? 4.6 million. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. It deserves to be at the top. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. No, that's good, that's great. I mean, obviously... Um, we're going to talk about what's coming up out this week, but there's some there's some pretty heavy hitters. Well, a heavy hitter at least that will probably knock Batman off the top. But yeah, speaking of Battlefield Three, uh, Battlefield Three is being <laughs> released this week on 360, PS3, and PC. And just to chime in again, because it may not have come across when I spoke about it earlier, but I do like the game. I just think it's there's so much hype in so long in the kind of uh, you know. Yeah, the hype's just fucking built so much. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, I, ex- I, I guess as a, as a kind of Call of Duty fan, I've been conditioned to kind of want certain things out of my FPS. And don't get me wrong, it's still a lot better than the majority of shit out there, you know. Um, we've played a lot of crap this year, as well as a fair share of good stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, it's not quite... It's not quite cutting the mustard... <laughs> that's a phrase right yeah <laughs> no like it's it just it just for me I'm not bothered about the multiplayer I'm, I will probably get around to playing a bit of it but that's not, that's not what I've bought it for I want to I want a decent campaign and I just feel like they've it's it's it feels like an afterthought which is unfortunate because it's a good looking and a great sounding game and it plays fine other than the bugs and stuff in it but it just feels like the story really wasn't well thought out and they just kind of glazed over it a little bit it's yeah, it, it's kind of a shame that the multiplayer is getting the sort of full attention, really. Yeah, I know. And it's good. I mean, they, I mean I've, I've read some reviews and they've kind of said that, well, they've marked this game down for the main campaign. And you've had like comments and stuff coming out saying, "Oh, well, this game is kind of like geared towards multiplayer, it so is, you should, it is. So, I mean, so you should kind of rate it solely on multiplayer and whatever." And but I'm no, like, but no, you need to rate the whole, the whole game. package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm, I'm being pretty critical, pretty cool, but like, obviously, I haven't played in the multiplayer, and I'm sure it plays fine and all that stuff. But, um, you know, it, yeah, it just it just feels a little disappointing to me. That's all. Um, I've, I mean, I'm not, I haven't finished it yet, so obviously my opinion could change with that. But you know, at the moment, I'm I'm not really feeling feeling like the hype was worth it. Yeah, there you go. What else? Your two that? cents. <laughs> yeah. uh, Connect Sports Season Two. Uh, which I'm probably actually going to pick up because the big, first one was the fun. first one was fun. Yeah, don't get me wrong. At the end of the day, you know, it's the Wii Sports ripoff. But yeah, for, for motion control games, you need like sports titles. Yeah, and I mean, stuff it's, and it's to make you feel good about yourself. I think it's you know at the same time you know with Connect Sports, I, I always see it like you know what most people say with the Wii is that you could just sit down with the Wii Remote and just... Yeah, yeah. And at least with Connect Sports, Waggle. you're... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least with Connect Sports, you're up and about. And it's, I, I actually did really enjoy uh, the first one. 
And um, it's one of those Kinect games that, you know, I've bought a fair share of Kinect games and most of them haven't made it back into my Xbox past the first play, <laughs> which is really bad. But, like, you know, that one has made it back into my Xbox several yeah. times and I've put it back on and played a bit here and there. And, you know, is it going to be as good as the first one? Who knows? Maybe not. But, you know, I'm sure there's going to be some enjoyment out of it. It's just one of those games that it's not, you know... Um, you can play that with the kids, with the family, you know, it doesn't matter who it is, you know, play it by yourself if you're a sad fuck, you know, it doesn't matter, it's going to be fun for everybody, so, they should advertise it with our slogans, <laughs> if you're a sad fuck. <laughs> I'm a sad, sad fuck. <laughs> so, I'll, yeah, I'll pick this up and probably talk about it next week, but yeah, so. Game I'm definitely going to have to pick up, Disney Universe. It's another... 360, PS3, and Wii. Yeah, another motion-controlled thing. I'm not even sure if it's motion-controlled. Well, it's, I'm pretty sure you can use the Kinect with it. Probably. So. Um, but it yeah. looks kind of like Little Big Planet. You yeah. just kind of like dress up as stuff. <laughs> these little things, you dress up as Disney characters going through Disney-themed levels. Yeah, it's not... I Fighting Disney-themed enemies. There's, there's, there's a very, very strong Disney theme. Yeah. To Disney Universe, which I find quite surprising. <laughs> yeah, same here. Um, I didn't expect so much Disney in it. No. But, um, no, yeah. A little bit of Disney, fair enough, but uh, that's a whole lot of Disney. So they're really round that shit, don't you, Yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I'm sure it would do well. You know, it's a big licensed thing. It's going to do, I guess. It do it's family friendly, fa- family friendly anti Semitism. <laughs> I think like yeah. <laughs> I think like it's gonna it's one of those titles that do much better on the Wii yeah. than anything else. Probably secondly on, on three sixty. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm right, this is the game that has the connect support. I'm pretty sure of it right. It probably has connect move and Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I'm sure it's well, gonna do jazz. better on Wii and Xbox than on PS3. Just Possibly. a theory. Yeah, because yeah. they've got a little big planet. Yeah, exactly. They don't need a shit. No, they've already got like Pirates of the Caribbean themed Little Big Planet thing, so you don't, yeah, need, exactly, it, so. You don't need that shit. <laughs> anyway, so um, that's pretty much the show for another week. Um, we would... I'm going to sit back and relax. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so thank you very much for downloading, supporting us, listening to the show, putting up with our shit for another week. Uh, we do apologise. It's a late, it's a late show. Well, it's a late recording. And um, sorry. and unfortunately, we won't be recording a game night uh, episode of Battlefield Three that we were planning to do tonight. We will be getting around to recording it uh, very early. when we're good and ready, <laughs> <laughs> very early next week. And so, look for that maybe like Tuesday, Wednesday next week if you're interested to hear our thoughts on it. Um, but yeah, no, we're um, well, we've shared, so I've shared some of my thoughts on it. I'm just interested to see what James thinks. Um, but yeah, we've got the Halloween special coming out. Can't really not mention that again. Um, that comes up Monday, so close to coming out, and um, we're really excited for everybody to see it and comment on it. So, uh, you'll be able to watch that on our website, gamesforallpodcast.com. If you subscribe to Games for All Extra in iTunes, you'll also be able to download it, which is good. And there's also going to be on YouTube, which is like a first for us. We didn't really put much stuff on YouTube. It's the first full Games for All Extra episode that's going to make it to YouTube. Hey. I think other than last year's Halloween special actually I forgot about that one um, but uh, yeah it's uh, youtube.com forward slash games for podcast or facebook.com forward slash games for podcast or games for podcast.com probably best to just go there first because uh, it's the official site and uh, we're also on twitter twitter.com forward slash games for all or at games for all if you want to message us up whatever that means and don't massage us up <laughs> no really. we don't like that <laughs> Not unless we have good warning. <laughs> Anyways, you can tell it's late because James is talking bollocks. Um, yep. So thank you. All guys. the way at the back. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, at the back where he belongs. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, thank you very much. I for know this. my place. Yeah, <laughs> you should by now. Uh, it's been seventy six episodes. <laughs> anyway, so we will be back next week with another episode, and uh, we'll also be back with some game night stuff. There's plenty of that coming up. Loads of content. Um, gamesforpodcast.com please check it out we'll also check out our good friends over at the Underground Geek Network but until then have a great weekend and we'll see you next week goodbye bye
For more episodes of the Games Rule Podcast, check out our website, www.gamesrulepodcast.com. You can also follow us at twitter.com forward slash games for all, or check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash games for all podcast. The Games Rule Podcast is brought to you in association with HostGator. For all your web host needs, check out hostgator.com.